Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 20th, 2022. Well, we sure have had a challenging September with a lot of chop and a lot of uncertainty. And I think that's going to continue today with the beginning of the FOMC meeting and these economic data points continuing to show a slowing U.S. economy along with worldwide economies slowing. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a look and see what happened yesterday. You know, most of the day yesterday was just a very frustrating chop, um, as you can see, just chop, 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 chop. Although we gapped down, we started to rally back immediately. But man, oh man, we just chop, 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 chop. And then suddenly, all at once, we had this big upside spike that came into the market. So um, essentially, we had institutional algorithmic trading pushing the market around, and they suddenly um, moved it to the upside, got a nice little spike. But unfortunately, that spike didn't really change anything. If we take a look, if I drop a line in here, although we got a bullish engulfing candle, which is encouraging, notice that we didn't break through any resistance in the chart. We didn't change any downtrends. Um, in the chart and none of the technicals of these charts improved um, at all yesterday. So although it's encouraging and we need that little bit of relief rally, well, we didn't really change much of anything in the chart. We still have lower high, lower low in the chart. And although we may get a little bit of follow through to the upside, which we definitely need, I'm not I'm, I'm not seeing anything here that um, should be changing attitudes and minds. <coughs> Excuse me. Particularly ahead of the um, FOMC meeting. So let's take a look at um, our SPY, SPY, very similar situation here. Lower high, lower low, bullish engulfing candle, didn't break through resistance, didn't change trends, didn't improve any of the technicals. So encouraging, yes, potential follow through, maybe. But as you can see in the futures right now, we have a little bit of a pullback um, occurring in the futures, suggesting we may take back some of yesterday's gains here, first thing this morning. So keep a close eye on that. QQQ, very much the same. Um, we rallied up sharply. We slammed our head into price resistance. We couldn't break through. Downtrend remains in play. Resistance remains in play. Technical problems in the charts remain active. So um, no major change here. Now, if we take a look at the Russell, a little bit of a different story on that Russell because although we made a lower low, we made a technical lower low here, which you know follows through on the you know the downtrend. But I gotta tell you, it's more of a double bottom and we held some price support in here and then we bounced up. So if there is some encouragement here in the market, it's in the small caps. And you can see them trying to push up off of this support area, a little bit of a double bottom, pushing back above this downtrend break, trying to hold in here. So the small caps are looking stronger, looking a little bit better overall, albeit the fact that they are still in a downtrend. We could pop back into there and just continue moving lower. But for now, fingers crossed, um, uh, the Russell is holding in there a little bit better than the other indexes. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX pulled back nicely yesterday. We popped up, gapped up in the morning um, um, on the VIX, but pulled back by the end of the day, particularly with that big surge in trading right at the end of the day. But I want you to notice, we really haven't broken any of this chop zone that we're in here on the VIX. So, uh, I mean, uh, nice that we got a little bit of a, um, a relief. We needed that um, relief in the selling, but we haven't really improved anything. We haven't fixed trends or anything just yet. So, 
Um, pretty difficult to hang a whole lot of hope on that move yesterday, particularly knowing that we have a Fed meeting just around the corner. Um, let's take a look at our T2122. T2122, if we take a look at this guy, this gives us the best hope that we may get a little bit more relief rally. Notice that yesterday we were down here. Um, we opened down here in the bearish um uh, excuse me, bullish reversal zone of T2122. And then we certainly did get that. We got that nice bounce yesterday to the upside. What we need to see is we really need to see this follow through. If we could move up a little bit higher, then I honestly think that would set up the opportunity for some short trades. We'll keep a close eye on that. But um, I would expect quite a lot of choppiness um, in the market today. Again, just, uh, you know, with... What the FOMC is planning to do is a big uncertainty. We see stressors around the world um, with Japan's um, inflation hitting, um, growing at the fastest pace in eight years, China leaving their interest rates um, flat, um, not changing anything. Um, and that's actually putting more and more pressure on the difference between the US dollar and the Chinese yuan. Um, adding additional pressures out there and our bonds, our, our two-year bonds um, hit a 15-year high in the pre-market this morning. So uh, expect a lot of chop. There's a lot of uncertainty here in the market to be paying attention to. So choppiness, we could see whipsaws, really quick, fast, uh, mean little whipsaws um, in a market like this as that algorithmic trading just pushes things back and forth trying to um, trying to get folks to jump and, and generate fees. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now our T2108 had a, a nice little pop up yesterday, but unfortunately the T2108, whoops, wrong chart. The T2108 popped up as I um, showed here, nice little pop. And we did respond bullishly to this little bit of price support area right down in here in the chart. But unfortunately, really not much has changed. We continue um, to suffer underneath um, that downtrend that we've broken and failed at. And it's really, really, um, although we had that nice little bump at the end of the day, uh, 26 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average um, does not make for a very bullish case in the market just yet um, oversold maybe but not bullish if we take a look at t2107 same thing would be true here in the small caps but just that little glimmer of hope here as well where once again there's that downtrend and we um, have held a little higher low here and we're trying to break back above that so again that little glimmer of hope but once again 27 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average pretty tough to make a strong bullish case on that. If we take a look at our um, T2101, T2101 uh, pushing back up, showing us that bullish uh, momentum trying to come into the market here just a little bit. Unfortunately, the volume was relatively light yesterday. Um, we didn't get really good volume readings um, on the day um, because it was just pretty choppy. I think a lot of folks are just standing on the sidelines waiting to try and uh, find out what's going to happen with the FOMC and then maybe re-engage in the markets. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we've got a couple things to be paying attention to. First off, you notice we have the beginning of the FOMC meeting. That'll all culminate tomorrow over here um, at 2 p.m. with the um, um, FOMC announcement. And then of course the chairs uh, Fed um, or conference um, after that, which creates usually lots of volatility in the market. We um, also have housing starts and permits. And if you saw the housing market index number, that was a very disappointing number yesterday, showing that our housing um, industry is in pretty sharp decline. 
um, this will be an interesting number today and could provide a little bit of inspiration for movement before the market opens. And then we will want to keep um, this 20 year bond auction in mind because those bond yields continue to show us that there is a deepening recession um, in, in the making here, despite all the talking heads trying to say, no, 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 no this isn't a recession. Um, well, we've got some issues here to be dealing with, and the bonds are showing us that uh, problem right now. And then keep in mind as you plan forward, and this is something you want to be thinking about, how much buying and selling do I want to do today ahead of this FOMC announcement, which is highly anticipated. All eyes around the world are watching this, along with another housing number, existing home sales number, and a petroleum status number. So. Oof, um, um, anything is possible tomorrow, so make sure you're planning your risk carefully. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And unfortunately, our earnings calendar, we're just winding down, you know, the quarter. There are only three confirmed reports on the earnings calendar. None of them are particularly notable, um, but we'll bring them up here. APOG um, is reporting today and getting a nice little pop here in that pre-market move so watch that closely but unfortunately massive amount of resistance above downtrend still in play we do have this little uptrend so uh it's got some work to do um keep a close eye on that um acb we got a little cannabis in here um reporting so keep an eye on some of the cannabis stocks a little pop and drop so far on the day on acb and sfix will also be reporting um, later today so keep an eye on that not much happening here on the earnings front if we take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor once again if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, and that would be clicking that thumbs up button, leaving a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just truly appreciate the kind support um, uh, that you guys show. I, it, it's, it, it truly is humbling to me, and thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Let's um, take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you need to do your own due diligence be thinking very very carefully about the risk of these trades particularly heading into such a big event like the FOMC so make sure you're doing your own due diligence make sure you're not blindly following anyone else's trade idea make sure that it fits your trade tolerance your risk parameters of your trading and just remember boy when the FOMC announcement uh, comes out anything could be possible we could surge higher we could drop hard you just don't know how the market will react so keep that in mind so that said let's take a look at a few things that you know may be setting up and things that are kind of interesting I think in the charts first off I'm going to continue to bring up um, UUP um, the strength of the US dollar is creating massive issues around the world and it's not because the dollar is necessarily all that great um, um, at, at, at all it's because we've printed so many dollars um, but it's just that the uh, the Federal Reserve is being much more conservative in fighting inflation than other countries have been and um, while that when they catch up I will expect to see the dollar drop but for now dollar is staying very very strong and China leaving benchmark rates flat unchanged that continues to support a strong US dollar so watch that closely today now we did have Sweden Sweden um, raised rates by 100 basis points um, so uh, kind of keep that in mind we do have co countries that are starting to work pretty hard to fight that inflation so it could be fluctuating here quite a bit now what's interesting about that is that we actually saw um, 
Silver making a move yesterday with a strong dollar. That's not something you would expect um, to see. And although we have this downtrend in play, I want you to notice we have an inverted head and shoulders pattern here on um, silver. So I would start keeping an eye on this. It's trying to hold in here around these price support levels. If this were to pop through and hold, I think there may be some opportunities here. And we may be reaching maybe that point in the market where um, uh, folks are going to start thinking about those precious metals if we really start to um, move to the downside here. Um, in our market and thinking about how they're going to hedge themselves in all of this uncertainty that's um, kind of going around the world. So keep an eye on that. Now also we saw other metals, which is really curious when um, you would not normally see any commodity prices moving up when the dollar shows the kind of strength that it is. But here we have it here, um, FCX, a little bit of copper moving up here, a little bit of a higher low, and you can kind of see that inverted head and shoulders maybe forming here in that chart. Now, certainly we, um, we've got a lot of work to do. We haven't uh, broken any downtrend here in the chart, but notice this little wedging pattern. Um, keep an eye on that. Metals are starting to pick up. The other thing that I saw that was kind of um, interesting to me is we saw um, commodity food commodities also had a, had a good day on a strong dollar. And you can see we're popping and dropping here this morning in the pre-market. But keep an eye on some of those commodity-based stocks. Um, we saw steel moving up a little bit yesterday off of this low. So interesting uh, market moves considering the strength of the dollar and even gold had a little bit of an upside move. I saw um, some of the miners, Newmont Mining, um, trying to move up here as you can see, maybe trying to break out from a downtrend. Ugly, ugly charts, but an interesting um, situation um, considering the dollar being so strong. Let's take a look at uh, some other places. If you guys know, um, I've talked about this BJ um, here for quite some time. Um, BJ's wholesale looking good. This was my original alert on the trade. Continues to look good. And even in this bearish market, this is staying quite strong. Notice how that trend um, is coming close here again. Watch for that opportunity that BJ may push right on through and move to the upside here in uh, the chart. And we've seen some pretty good strength in um, retail um, trying to hold up. Target is one of those trying to hold in here now, although it slipped a little bit below this support level in the chart. Target's trying to hold, so we've got a little bit of retail maybe trying to get things going here despite the uncertainty in the market. So keep an eye on some of those. Target, Walmart, Costco, things like that you might want to take a peek at. And then other places, take a look at the moves that we had in, um, uh, or moves that, or the setups, I should say, that we're having here in some of the solar stocks. For solar, nice little hold of price support here. Um, watch that closely if we can get that moving to the upside. Um, FSLR is another nice little platform set up in here trying to push its way through the upside. So I would keep a close eye on some of those for some potential upside moves. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for, uh, for watching. I do appreciate it. And I want to wish you all the very, very best in your trading today. Take care.